Today, we share with you the wise teachings of Supreme Master Ching Hai in excerpts from her book, Coloring Our Lives. Knowing God is the purpose of human life. The purpose of human life. Question. How can we know and be sure of our purpose in life? We are here to bless the world and to know our greatness. When we know our greatness, we are one with the whole universal cosmic power, and whoever comes in contact with us also has the blessing from this universal cosmic power. The earth will get more developed as more people like us practice and bless the world quietly with our spiritual merit and wisdom. That's our purpose. Otherwise, what else do you think? Are we here just to eat two or three meals a day, have a few children, and then kaput? That's not the true purpose, anyhow. It would not be logical for God to take so much trouble to create us, then put us here for a few decades and let us die in misery, sometimes with cancer, agony, disasters, earthquakes, and so on. This is not logical. So, the purpose of human life is to know God. Knowing God means knowing our own greatness. Knowing the whole cosmic power of which we ourselves are a part. Even when we say a part, it's a whole, you see. For example, if my finger is cut off, then it's only one finger. But when it is attached to my body, it becomes one of the parts of my body. It belongs to my body. Even though I say it's a part of my body, actually it is also the whole of my body. Therefore, we are part of the cosmic power, but we're also the whole, if we are connected again. The little gap in between is reconnected at the time of initiation. We turn inward, we tune inward, we plug in, and then we are whole with the universe. Therefore, we bless anyone who comes around without having to lay a hand on them or do anything to them. Anyone we sympathize with or share bloodlines with, they are saved or are blessed in some form or another. It depends on their karma, and it depends on our love for them. Why are we here? The Buddha scriptures say that you are the Buddha and that the Buddha nature is inside you. The Bible says that God lives within this temple so who else is in there except God? If we are the temple and God is the only one who lives in there, who are we then except God? If we don't remember, that's fine, but we are still God. So whatever we choose to do as the God of all gods that we are, we should respect. As the father, mother of all these beings that we are, we should respect our own wishes and our choice to live and express our divine selves in whichever way we want. That's why Jesus told us that we should not judge people. Because we don't know the path that another being has chosen to walk. He or she does his or her thing so that she or he might come to know God in a different way. He or she might choose to be a seemingly bad person, a very lowly person, or a very so-called immoral person. But that's his or her way of knowing the divine. By choosing to be ungodly, that person will one day know that's not him or her but they have to go back and learn the whole being again. Because if we always stay in heaven and are gods all the time, we wouldn't recognize ourselves as God. So we need to lower ourselves and come down to this physical level so we can once again recognize our own greatness. That's our choice, and that's why we came here. So the answer to our question about why we are here is because we want to know God. When we feel the time is up, that's the time we choose to remember ourselves again. That's the time we come to seek out spiritual friends, a spiritual group, or maybe a spiritual teacher so that we can remember quickly because we have forgotten how to remember and where to look. So some friend who has already remembered himself or herself may be able to help us. And then we recognize that we're nothing else but the Supreme Being, but God. 
we recognize the Supreme Being that's housed within this body. But actually, Hez is not housed within the body. Hez houses our body. But then again, spiritual terminology is never a very exact science. So no matter how much a teacher tells us about God or how eloquently a spiritual friend might speak about the divine being within us, we cannot understand just by listening. So the spiritual teacher, guide, or friend has to show us practically, not just theoretically. For example, when Jesus came to our planet, he taught his disciples both ways, the theoretical way and the practical way. And that's why later his immediate disciples could also do wonders, could also see heaven, could also hear the voice of God as the word of the Creator, could also see the light of heaven, could ascend to heaven and even see the angels or see the Father. The Father spoke to them like the Father spoke to Moses, and the angels also spoke to them. Likewise, we can do that, because as great as Jesus' disciples were, we are also great. We and Jesus' disciples are the same because Jesus said to us that we are all children of God. But because we have forgotten, sometimes one or two friends have to come to remind us, but only when we are ready, because if we aren't ready, no one can do much for us. If you look for references, we can see them in the Bible, like St. John hearing the trumpet, and God coming with the voice of thunder. In the beginning was the Word, from the Word comes our being, that's the sound. So, if we are in our element, it must be the best. That's what it is. In the Buddha Sutras, it says the same thing. In the Quran, it always mentions light and sound, that this is the essence of our being. And now you know that scientifically speaking, we are light and sound. We are energy. So, what else can make us feel the best, if not ourselves? going back into our element and realizing ourselves. That's the best, and that's all there is. It's not seeing your own light. You are the light. It's not hearing your own sound. You are the sound. You are the vibration that creates the whole universe. You are that. You are the commander-in-chief of this cosmos. The more you realize that you are that, the more power you have, and the freer you become. Instead of realizing that you are this flesh, you are this fingernail, you are this and that, you realize, no, 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 I am the creator, I am the light, I am the sound, I am that absolute thing. The Power of the Sound Meditation Only through the Kuan Yin can we get through all kinds of levels of consciousness. That's why we see many people who meditate on the light but haven't yet gotten to the level at which to contact the sound, and their lives don't change much. With many kinds of meditation that are on the intellectual level, like asking the meaning of koans, Zen Buddhist riddles, or that focus on a lamp, people see light also, but their lives don't change much. Because some light levels are below the elevating sound level. Some people meditate on the light and in samadhi or in moments of extreme concentration, they will also contact the sound automatically. And at that time, they are also doing the Kuan Yin, so they have the sound and light together. But they don't know how to get to the sound without effort because they haven't been connected with the sound by a competent friend, a competent guide. So it's easier for us because we know how. In the modern day, know-how is the key to success. So, know-how also applies in the practice of meditation. Therefore, even if we haven't been in true samadhi, and we still get some taste of the benefit of the sound current, it helps to revive our body and spirit. The Way to Rejuvenation By practicing the Kuan Yin method, our vibrations become very fast, and self, I don't recognize. 
After initiation, he looks totally different, like another person, more lovable and closer, like a long-time friend. It's very funny. I've noticed this many times. So sometimes people think, how come Master doesn't know me? I just came to say hello to her a few days ago, and now it looks like she doesn't remember. I do remember, but just a different person. You change. The chemical substances in the body change too. We renew our tissues and our cells, and the structure of our thinking becomes different. Even though you might not notice it, because here you don't have the opportunity to use it. But when you go home, or if the opportunity arises for you to solve the same problem, you will see that so many fresh ideas have developed overnight, and then you know what has happened to you.